On top of that green marker buoy there is one of our instruments. It captures data, providing updates on the conditions. Right now it's really flat, but oftentimes there can be a lot of wind and wave. That was the case seven kilometers off the coast of Euclid back in November of 2020, where one of Marine Lab's 26 buoys is located. And this is what it recorded. If you look at the way the buoy moves, it's you know basically riding this sort of looking like normal motions. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of goes into a huge trough and then onto a peak and then down into an even bigger trough. And it's uh, basically really unique because it's so big relative to the waves that were happening in, in behind it. At 17.6 meters, it's being called the most extreme rogue wave on record, measuring as high as a four-story building. The probability of such an event occurring is once in a millennium. Didn't believe it at first. And so Marine Labs took the data to Dr. Johannes Gemrick, a rogue wave scientist at the University of Victoria. He and his team were able to analyze and confirm the findings. To really truly put numbers to this thing and, you know, validate that this truly did occur. And it's happening more frequently. Whoa! But the power they're packing can often be dangerous, sometimes deadly. A husband and wife in their 50s did not make it back. In November of 2000, Scott Smith, the bassist for Canadian rock band Loverboy, was swept into the water after an 8-meter rogue wave hit his sailboat off the coast of San Francisco. His body was never recovered. And while this particular event didn't cause any damage, that may not always be the case. The more that we measure, the more we learn. Beattie believes instrumenting all of Canada's 10,000 buoys with the technology will allow scientists to better predict where and how rogue waves form, as well as the risks they pose. We can't really um, control what we don't measure. We can't really um, apply policy to what we don't measure. So this is an exciting opportunity to put instruments all along coastlines and do a much better job. Kylie Stanton, Global News.